Now, this may be explained by the so-called bundle bone hypothesis that was put forward by Maurizio Araujo um, back in 2005. And the explanation for this is that when a tooth um, is um, supported within the bone through the periodontal ligament, the periodontal ligament connects with the bone surrounding the socket uh, into specialized cortical bone, which has been referred to as bundle bone. And when the tooth is extracted, the bundle bone, which supports the tooth, no longer has a reason uh, to be present. And this bundle bone occupies a space of about 0 0.5 millimeters around the, uh, uh, in that cortical bone uh, you know, with, uh, that confines itself to the socket itself. So when the tooth is taken out, and if the bundle bone no longer has uh, a reason to exist because it no longer supports the tooth, then the body naturally resorbs this bundle bone away. And on the facial aspect of the ridge, where the bone itself is relatively thin, then the bundle bone often occupies the entire thickness of the facial bone plate, especially in that coronal portion. And ultimately what happens then is a resorption of the ridge that takes place through both a vertical loss of uh, the facial bone height, as well as a horizontal loss uh, of the ridge uh, once the modeling processes start to take place. And of course, this then leads on to dimensional changes of the ridge that we see typically once a tooth has been extracted. And of course, this has significant uh, aesthetic uh, implications.